So the world's absolute best conductor is conducting the New York Symphony Orchestra and he makes the tiniest mistake. The audience didn't notice and the players didn't really notice, but he thought that he should retire anyway in interest of keeping up his reputation. So after the performance, he turns to the crowd and says, Ladies and gentlemen, this is my very last performance. Tonight I am retiring as a conductor. And he walks off the stage, only to be greeted by his manager and two bodyguards. They say to him, You're not leaving this. You're too good. You make us too much money. Forced to work by his manager, he starts working dreary week after dreary week, hating everything he does. The conductor was not very happy. He turned up to a few other performances and he started doing them and he realized how unhappy he was. So a couple nights later in bed, he turns to his wife and says, Dear, can you get me a grenade? And she says yes, and he goes to sleep happy. So the very next day, he goes to his performance, he performs his set, and he says, Ladies and gentlemen, this is my last performance. This time, the conductor just pulls the pin of the grenade and throws it into the crowd and kills 23 people. The judge asks him how he pleads, and he says guilty to accounts of 23 murders. The conductor feels that this is a better way than going on with his life anyway, since he messed up that once, and he's no longer the great conductor that he once was. So he goes into the room with the electric chair and sits down readily to die. The settings were changed so that it would triple the voltage to kill the man. They almost thought they killed him this time, but unfortunately, the conductor was just fine. And when he left the building, his manager was out there again to tell him to get back to work. Once again, he found himself depressed and hating his work and his life. After he had all he could take, he turned to his wife in bed one night and said, Dear, could you get me a missile launcher? Yes, she replied. This time, he doesn't even wait for it to start. He just shouts, damn you all, and shoots the rocket into the pit, killing all 190 members of the New York Symphony Orchestra. The army was called in this time, and he was dragged away. The judge sees him and goes, Jesus Christ, you again? Fine. What is it? What do you plead this time? The conductor sa says to the judge, guilty on 190 counts of murder, your honor. And the judge sentences him to death. This time, a public announcement was sent to all the members of the surrounding area saying there would be a power shortage at the time of the execution. All of the city's electrical engineers were rerouting the power to the electric chair that the man was supposed to be killed on that night. The building was vacated, and the electric chair was activated from remote control two miles away. The building exploded with electricity, with plasma shooting everywhere, and people were very happy that they had not stayed around to see this. At the day of the funeral, everyone was very sad and in mourning for the loss of such a great artist. His wife went up to the casket to say a final farewell and screamed when she saw him crawling out of the casket perfectly fine and pristine. A reporter on the site jumped up and shouted, You have survived three attempted executions of the electric chair. How did you do it? The conductor sighed and turned to the people gathered in front of him. He said, Well, it's simple. I've tried to tell people before. I'm just a bad conductor.